behavioral questions are almost a guarantee when you're going for your interview. You need to be ready for them. It's easy to flunk them. There's something specific that they are looking for when the interviewer asks you this question. And this is how to answer those questions. Okay, first let's start off with what a behavioral question is. An interviewer is gonna ask you a behavioral question to determine previously demonstrated behaviors that you've used in your career to this point. And they're gonna ask you the question to understand how you've handled certain scenarios and certain situations, what you did in them, how you approached them, how you solved the problem and who you worked with in them. There's a couple of reasons why interviewers will ask this question is, first off, it gives specific, clear uh, examples, scenarios of times that you've actually faced in your past. Uh, the reason an interviewer would ask this is because that certain skill set or a certain way of handling a situation is crucial to their job, to the role they're recruiting for. Another reason they might ask you a specific behavioral question is because they can't see from your CV that you've demonstrated that previously in your work. It might be a red flag, it might be a question mark in their mind and they're asking you that question because they need you to demonstrate and prove to them that you have already done this certain skill or behavior and you can replicate that again in the current role you're applying for. Okay, one more point quickly before we jump into the STAR technique is if you are applying for a job and you're going through that job description, ask yourself, put yourself in the interviewer's shoes before you have an interview and ask yourself, where would I be asking? Where would my question marks be? Where would my red flags be? And if I compare my CV to the job description, because that's where they're gonna drill down in these behavioral questions. So come prepared. Think Think about scenarios that you can have a response ready for them. Okay, let's jump in. How do you answer a behavioral question? You use the STAR technique. Really simple, but very specific and clear and measurable. If you keep this in the back of your mind, it will help you out heaps. So the first section is to think about the specific situation or a task. So a specific situation, don't be vague about that situation. Don't be vague about that task. If they ask you a question about when have you delivered exemplary customer service, for instance, don't give them a vague answer, say, oh, in every interaction I have with my clients and my customers, I demonstrate exemplary customer experience. That doesn't give them any answer. Think of a specific scenario, if possible, one that happened recently where you really did demonstrate that behavior. So situation task. The third point is the action that you took. What was the action that you took specifically? If you're in a team context and you need to talk about we as a team, definitely do that, but differentiate yourself. I did this, I took this action. Our team did this and I did this. So that the interviewer clearly knows what was the team effort and what was your responsibility. And finally is the result. The all important reason uh, why you're going into this story is to land at the result. So don't leave this one as a question mark because that's the whole point of you telling this story. The interviewer is asking for a detailed, specific, previous example where you face this scenario. So go through that, go through the scenario in detail, talk about names of clients or businesses or interactions that you had, go into a bit of depth about uh, what the problem was, what the issue was, what the task was that you had to do. Was it someone who had a project deadline for you? Was it a, uh, you managing multiple stakeholders at once? Was it you um, dealing with large budgets and pressures and managing teams? Um, what was the action that you took? And then what was the results? If you can go through these four steps for every behavioral question that you have, you will nail the interview, they will love your feedback, they will have confidence in your ability to do whatever it is, a certain behavior, skill that they're looking to get from you. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tips on how to nail your behavioral questions in the middle of an interview. Uh, I really love sharing these tips as a recruiter. I've been able to interview hundreds and thousands of people. I use this every day when I'm chatting on the phone or in video interviews or face-to-face -face with people. I really enjoy sharing these tips so that I can help you to level up your career, land your dream job, and see you go to the next level. If you wanna keep watching and follow along for more, then please like and subscribe. I'd love to stay on this journey with you. Thanks.